Hi guys, long time no unboxing, right? It's been so long and I honestly miss making lots of unboxings, but I've been really trying to cut down on my spending, so please forgive me for being less active on YouTube, but I promise I will be back with more videos and hopefully more exciting videos, but this is just as exciting because NCT 127 made their comeback and I love it so much, but as usual, we'll get into it once we're further into the unboxing. So here's pretty much all of the types. I did not get every single member's digipack because again, I'm trying to cut down on my spending, but um, other than like the US Target edition, I have all of the regular Korean versions. I had to double check and make sure I had the version names correct, but this one is the chandelier version. This one is the storage version, obviously digipacks, and this is the QR version. There's SM Mini as well, but that releases a bit later and it's out now. But it takes so long for me to get albums these days. Like ever since like COVID, the shipping time has been so long. Even if I use the really fast shipping method, it takes forever to get to me. So that is the reason why I'm so slow these days. I order it right away, but it takes so long to get to me. Anyways, okay, let's get into it. We'll start with the chandelier version. This one looks really cool, but we'll start with the chandelier version. And um, by the way, you probably know <laughs> if you've seen my videos, but these three are my top three in 127. So these days I just opt for their versions instead of buying everyone's. Here is the chandelier version. I hope this is like in good focus. I don't know. Sometimes it looks like it's not focused. The night I stood alone as always, burning myself, I paint like go, trying to find the real me, I've been grinding, no fake show, ready or not, do or we die, it's the lyrics. <laughs> we about to fly, trust me, and take it slow, come and check it, art is what I am. That's actually, like, this part in the song is my favorite part in the entire song. It's so good, like, Mark's rap, then Taeyong, and then Taeyo's high note. I love it, it's my favorite part of the whole song, so that's funny that they used those lyrics for the, um front of the album here. Anyways, that's the front cover and the back. This album is so 127 style, like the album and the title track especially, it's so 127 style. There seemed to have been quite a bit of inclusions. Ooh, this is so thick. Okay, oh, okay. go away. That's the inside. And CD. Oh, there's the track list. I'd say my favorite songs. I love Parade. I think that's my number one favorite. I also like Je ne sais quoi because it's French. I also like Misty too. And Angel Eyes. I'd say like those are my top favorite, but Parade is number one. Really, really good. Now let's go through the photo book. Kind of looks like a blueprint for like drafting or whatever. Okay. It's a nice thick photo book actually. It's definitely an upgrade compared to their previous like photo book versions. My brother just called me and he was about to come home but then he called to ask if I was filming or not and I said I was and so he's like, okay, no worries. I'll like come home later. I was like, oh my God. I'm thankful to him for being, um, what's the word? Like accommodating with my filming schedule. So thank you, bro. But anyways, I was saying that this is a nice upgrade compared to some of NCT 127's previous photo book versions like for AO and Sticker and especially Two Baddies. The photo book versions were so small and well I don't mind small like overall small but like thickness it was so thin so um, this is definitely an upgrade for sure. I think SM understood when we were complaining about it. Cause I definitely complained about it in my favorite and least favorite packaging video of 2022. I explained that the two baddies photo book version was just not enough. It, and it was like getting a little bit boring at this point, the same kind of packaging. Oh my God, he looks so good. <laughs> so yeah, fact check though, who else is loving it as much as I am? Usually not, no. These last couple NCT 127 title tracks had to grow on me a little bit. But fact check, I love instantly, right away, I was like, oh my god, this is it. <laughs> so I'm very happy that this title track has done this to me. I don't know if it's because ever since I saw NCT as a whole in concert, I've just been more hyped about them these days. <laughs> I don't know if that's it. I've just been like extra hyped about anything NCT after seeing them in Japan, which was amazing, by the way. 
I went to um, the second Osaka show and both of the Tokyo shows. The Osaka one was just... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm just speechless because I don't know if anyone has seen on Twitter when it happened, but there was like a really bad rainstorm. It was so bad that we actually had to end up leaving early because we were not geared up with the right rain equipment. <laughs> Every All the locals there were pulling out their ponchos and their bags to cover their light sticks and everything. And yeah, me and my friend were just not prepared. And it's crazy because we kind of knew it was going to rain but we just weren't expecting this kind of rain. <laughs> so there were these really sweet JN citizens beside me and um, they offered me and my friend like, a, not a blanket, but a towel to put over our heads to <laughs> keep us somewhat dry. And they also gave us little bags to put over our light sticks because they were getting soaked, absolutely, totally drenched. And so that, that was really, really sweet and I, <laughs> I always look back and I'm so thankful to those really sweet JN citizens. You know, JN citizens are so sweet. Like, I interacted with a couple of them at um, the Tokyo shows. Well, actually, I had all of them because at that Osaka one, those sweet girls beside me lent us those bags and the towel. But yeah, I actually like interacted somewhat with, with some JN citizens at the Tokyo shows and they are so sweet and nice and um, understanding that I can't speak Japanese, so obviously we can't talk that much because they don't really speak English either, but it's kind of a long story on why we interacted, but you know me and my friend when we were buying merch, we ended up buying some of the Japan editions of Golden Age, and you know you get like the trading cards and everything, and so um, my friend wanted to make sure she traded there in Japan because otherwise it'd be really hard to trade those cards because they're Japanese exclusive cards and it's obviously exclusive to Japan only, so trading in Japan would be the easiest thing. For me, I'm not too fussed on like trading the cards. I don't mind keeping who I pull, but she's a big collector of her biases, so she wanted to make sure she was able to trade. So yeah, she was able to trade with some JN citizens, and that was really interesting. <laughs> They're so sweet though. They're really, really sweet. And before the Tokyo concert, we went to the NCT XYZ pop-up shop and, you know, you get like these random pins. And again, she wanted to make sure she was able to get her biases, so she ended up doing some trades from that at the concert. So that's how we were able to interact with some of the JN citizens. And again, they're so sweet. <laughs> I was not trading, so I just was kind of there. <laughs> but yeah. It's, it was such an unforgettable experience and seeing all of the units, literally everyone except Tail, I'm so sad he was not able to go, but obviously he got injured, so um, his health and his well-being comes first. There's no way he'd be able to make it anyways after his accident, but um, other than him, I was able to see everyone and it was so great. Like even Win Win was there, that was like kind of shocking that he went because sometimes he can't participate in everything and the fact he was there too was amazing and to see Wavy and Dream. I had the chance kind of to see Dream um, when they did their North American tour. Obviously they did not come to Canada, but they did go to Seattle, which is kind of close to me. And a lot of my friends went to that show, but I decided not to go because <laughs> I wanted to do a vacation later in the year. And by me not going, I was now able to go see NCT Nation in Japan. So it kind of worked out because I ended up seeing Dream with Wavy and 127. It was awesome. And plus Golden Age, I think is one of my favorite NCT full group albums, to be honest. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. To see the bat live is actually life-changing. <laughs> I was on the fence about that song when I first heard it, but let me tell you right now, see or hearing and seeing it live is life-changing, and that is the only way to describe it. I cannot even put into words how obsessed I am with that song now and I keep re-watching like clips from um the Japan shows of the bat because man and let me tell you the screams for Jisung during that song actually the screams for Heichan and Jisung in general were crazy in Japan like Heichan is so popular in Japan it's insane um but yeah I wish I had more time to talk about this I feel like I already went so slow I have so much to say about my Japan trip but um it was amazing. Anyways, and this photo book was beautiful. I know I talked more about my time seeing 127 in concert than 
how beautiful they are, but of course we know how beautiful they are. Okay, let's bring out, let me just put this behind me. We'll bring out the random inclusions. Well, this is not random, it doesn't seem, but we have a little thanks to's poster. <laughs> That's what you want to call it. Okay. Of course, we have the lovely SM ad. We have this, a postcard. I'm going to guess it's random. Ooh, and I got Utah. He looks so good. Oh yeah, him, this comeback. Oh my god, he is killing it. I think it's his era. I really, really do. And he was amazing in Japan. He looked so good in the red hair, but oh my god, he was crazy in Japan. Obviously, it's his hometown, but like, he was insane. <laughs> oh, this is a sticker. Hmm. Is this focused properly sometimes? I'm not too sure. Seems like it is, but yeah, that's like the album cover. There's more stickers I didn't realize till later. We got this one right here. Album release. This lyrics. This is the paint line go. Yep. The paint line go lyric. <laughs> There's another one here. NCT 127. Let's go. And we got a photo card. Of course, only one photo card. SM things. Let's go. <gasps> Cute. I got Jongu. He's obviously one of my biases, so I'm always very happy to get him. <laughs> what a cutie. All right. Oh, by the way, I have more albums coming in the mail, so I can open them on my Instagram if you'd like to follow. I've been posting a lot on my Instagram and more exciting things like reels. So um, if you want to catch some albums that I open that is not on YouTube, definitely follow my Instagram because I'm a lot more active on there these days. So anyways, this is the Chongu photo card. He's so cute. <laughs> okay, I have to hurry because my brother wants to come home. But anyways, I I'll try not to rush it or anything, but Anyways, here is the storage version. I was really excited to go through this one because it looks kind of cool and unique. And it's in this little clear box. Oh, five. Is that because that it's fifth album? Okay, okay. Let's take that out. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's see what we got. Okay, oh my gosh. I don't know if there, what, what is random here or not. Okay, let's just put this behind me and we'll go through the photo book. Is it too dark in here? I have a light like shining right here, but seems a little dark. Okay, okay, okay. I think it was just the one photo card. That's Oh, hello SM ad. Okay. Does it seem a little bit too far away now? Okay, I've kind of brought it down a little bit. I don't know if that's any better. Oh yeah, this is okay. Oh, they look so good. Oh my god, Johnny. Okay, I have to keep fixing my camera, but I don't really have the time to be doing this right now. Look how good he looks. I love Mark's rap in fact check so much. Whoa, sir, excuse me. Calm down, please. I hope Teo's doing okay. I, I was kind of shocked that SM made him like participate in this comeback, although he's not promoting, which is good because he's injured and we need him to rest and get better. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's nice to have him a part of this and to hear his vocals, but we really just need him to be okay. <laughs> hey Chan, oh my god. As I said earlier, the screams for him in Japan <laughs> were so crazy. I feel like a lot of the fans in Japan were like Dream's ends. A lot of them were just huge fans of Dream. Oh my god. Doyoung, he looks so precious. I wonder if my Doyoung curse slash blessing will happen in this unboxing. <laughs> As we all know, if you've seen my NCT unboxings from the beginning, I pull him in like everything. I think there was like one album, maybe one one or max two that I didn't pull his card. But other than that, I've pulled him in everything, at least like once in everything. I'm not very j -Hen blessed. Sometimes I am. It's, it's weird. Sometimes I'll pull him like surprisingly, and then other times he'll show up in nothing. So um, yeah, my, my luck for him is somewhat okay. You know, it's kind of like all over the place with 127. I used to pull Doyoung like crazy, but now it's also kind of like all over the place. I'm pretty even with all of them actually. Also to see baggy jeans in concert, like hearing it live was so good. And I got to hear it three. No, I don't think I was there in Osaka. I left early as I explained earlier. I left during when Wavy was performing. I, I was there fully for a kickback, but I was not mentally there because <laughs> I couldn't see. I was like looking down at the ground because when I look up, just water is getting all in my eyes and my face and my mouth. I'm surprised I didn't get sick 
literally water was getting all in my mouth it was it was traumatic and then we decided to leave during the middle of wavy performing nectar i really did not want to leave but if we stayed it just i feel like we would have gotten sick so we took care of ourselves first because we knew we were going to see them in tokyo in the following week that's why we were okay leaving our osaka seats were floor seats though but i'd say our best seats were tokyo day one we weren't on the floor but we were really close to the stage in the upper section not the very top section but like the middle so i'd say those were our best seats and a not bad view oh i like this metallic look here our tokyo day two seats were not bad either they were really really far but it was a good view of like everything i'd say probably our worst for a view was actually osaka day two because we were on the floor but we were more in the back like we weren't even in the middle we were like almost at the middle kind of more to the back so it wasn't a very good view of the stage we had to mainly look at the screen so that kind of sucked and plus the rain really just ruined it so Okay. It, it was an experience all right <laughs> definitely was an experience but that was the storage version photo book let's go through this stuff so it seems like there are postcards oh there's quite a bit here actually damn all right i guess um all the backs are the same so we'll just kind of do it like this oh there's a little message on the back nice i guess you can pause it to read it if you'd like you know, my Korean is not so good anymore because I have not been keeping up with it. I used to like read if there was messages. Oh, Johnny wrote in English, so that's easy to read. But um, I used to read messages and stuff idols would write on the back of their photo cards and stuff. But these days, my Korean speaking skills and reading is not so good anymore because I don't study. Because um, I decided to study Japanese. <laughs> okay, they just came home upstairs. I'm really hoping you won't be able to hear the stomping. But um... After going to Japan twice and not being able to speak to anyone, it was very frustrating and I loved Japan so much I really do want to go back. So I'm studying Japanese now and I'm actually really, really liking it, to be honest. Um, I just love the way the language sounds and um, since I enjoy um, studying Japanese, I'm finding it not so difficult. So it's obviously not going to be quick like it's going to take some time but i'm pretty motivated to study and oh my god doyoung wrote so much wow nice um but yeah you know it was it's kind of hard because when we were at the show and everything they were speaking korean and then it gets translated into japanese so um i try my best to understand the korean <laughs> but at the time i knew zero japanese so yeah tried my best to understand what they were saying in korean that's my best bet but you know like just for those reasons it would have been nice if i knew japanese so before i go back i want to make sure i'm able to speak at least like basic stuff you know so yeah i really actually would like to take japanese lessons because you know it's, it's been it's always been a dream of mine to be able to speak another language fluently and i'm really really enjoying Japanese. I bought a workbook and I'm starting from like the beginning. When I learned Korean, I kind of just like was all over the place learning the alphabet first and then whatever, just doing some lessons. And for um, Japanese, I'm really, really trying. Start from the basics, you know, grammar and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that rant about <laughs> me wanting to learn another language. I'm just trying to make some conversation. If I was the very first unboxing, trust me, I would not be talking about myself and, and my studies. <laughs> Alright, so those were the postcards. And then there's this right here. These look like those, what are those called? Um, They were popular in like 2016 um, fidget spinners. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I'm just going to leave the CD in there, but there it is <laughs> photo cards and stuff we have the sm ad and then my photo card we got oh we got hey chan look at him he looks so good is those, are those contacts like little gray or blue contacts i think so oh, they look more green actually i'd say they're green contacts look at him very stunning all right all right we got hey chan's card 
But now we'll go through the little digipack version. So we'll start with Johnny since he is the oldest out of the three. I believe the Target version looks just like this, but it has like the full group on there. There is the sticker. If I ever have the chance to go back to the States, I will of course go to Target and pick up the Target version. But yeah, I'm not American, so it definitely is. Oh, this is not um, Digipack, but poster version. SM has moved on from Digipack to poster version now. I think they started it with ESPA. It's pretty much just a big lyrics poster. There you go. This looks like nutrition facts almost. Like nutrition facts. The way it's written with this font too, in black font, it really looks like nutrition facts. Anyways, it is the bottom of him. Let's fold it so you can see the rest of him. With his chest peeking out of his shirt there. Then we have this stuff here. We have the CD. And of course the SM ad. And then we got all of the Johnny postcards. He looks so good. Oh man, he was just like him in the bat. <laughs> insane. Actually, you know, the, the person who's the most insane in the bat is Jisung. He was crazy. Oh, I love the black and white. Okay, and then the photo card. It's pretty much all that's left. We got, oh my goodness. <laughs> we got a Taeyong card. Look how pretty he is. I'm really wanting the Target version actually because their outfits in the Target version, those red outfits, really, really want it. But again, if I am able to go to the States, oh wait, I'm going to LA, but I don't know if I'll have time to go to Target. But anyways, um, there's Taeyong's card. <laughs> then we have the Jaehan version, my only Jaehan thing so far. <laughs> so sad. And it's by my choice. He is so good looking, it's crazy. Also, he was amazing too at the concert. Of course they all were. I only have good things to say about them all. There's the bottom with his, look at his rings there. Have you seen that? So handsome. Okay, that was a really bad way to show, but I'm trying my best here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, my photo card just fell on the ground. CD is going to be the same. And SM ad. Oh, did I not get stickers in the Johnny one or did I just miss it? I think I missed it. They might have been stuck to the bottom of the SM ad. My bad. You saw it now. So that's that's all that matters. <laughs> Can I please get a Jahan photo card in the Jahan version? That is what I need in my life. But it's not what I'll get. Maybe, maybe I won't get it because I'm so pessimistic about it. <laughs> And my photo card, we got, oh, another Hey chan oh my god, he's doing a little cat pose or something, oh my god, he looks so cute in this card, not complaining about this, definitely not, oh, so gorgeous, okay, 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 my brother just came home, but I'm so close to being done, but don't worry, I'm not going to rush, because he's okay with being quiet, so anyways, we'll move on to the last poster version, which is Jungwoo, he looks really good as well, killing it, come back. Oh my gosh, what did I just do to this? Can you imagine how long this video would be if I bought all of the members? Oh, I love his makeup here. I actually recently, when I went to Japan the first time, um, I bought this like um, glittery makeup thing for your eyes and it kind of reminds me of this. Anyways, okay, okay, okay. Let's got the poster at the bottom. Ooh, my nails kind of match this like this whole concept of this release kind of can you see this properly he's gorgeous and we got the cd and everything sm ad yeah i think the stickers were definitely stuck to the first one earlier for johnny okay okay yeah i don't know what's easier to go through these or the digi packs and I don't know which one I prefer. I kind of like the poster version, actually. It's different. And it's a, it's a switch up. Okay, the stickers seem to not be random, so that's good. Because I did not show the Johnny one. Alright, and the um, photo card is... We got a tail! Oh, I'm 
miss him. Every time I see Taeyo, I just like, I always think, is he doing okay? His vocals were so good this comeback. Oh, I love that Doyoung does his high note though, because Doyoung's vocals are insane live. Absolutely insane. So, um, he of course pulled off a Taeyo high note so well. There we go. There is the Taeyo poster uh, photo card. So pretty. Okay, and very lastly, we have the QR version. There it is. Yeah, I think they started doing this during Two Baddies era. I don't know whether to be happy about that or annoyed because it's an extra version. And how am I going to open this now? I had to open it with my box cutter because the struggle is real with these nails. I don't know where the random photo card is. I don't really want to see it right now. Um, yeah, let's just, I don't know. I'll just pick them up. Oh, that's random for sure. Wait, is this random right here? Did I just get Doyoung? That's different. A different looking card. And it looks like we got Doyoung's little sticker here. Well, so he has he has arrived. He has come home. <laughs> is this random? Is this the random card? Oh my god. <laughs> this is the scan card. Oh my god. What what is he? What's up with this stack of money? Eh, we ballin'. <laughs> Literally. Oh my god, that's crazy. This card is crazy it's, that is crazy you know what i was thinking of doing i was thinking of doing a video comparing sm minis and qr versions and like kino kit albums and like polka albums and you know all that all that good stuff and weverse albums i was thinking of doing a video like comparing all of them i downloaded this nemos thing and and it's actually kind of cool so that's what reminded me of that <laughs> Ooh. So I'm going to work on that for sure. We'll see how that video goes. I was gonna like do an official YouTube video and also maybe like try and shorten it to um, a short or a reel or something. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. First I have to like kind of get to know all of them. I have actually never used an SM Mini before but I tried the QR version for a Keys album so it was kind of cool. Ooh, look at this. Wow. That's cool. And then we got their little thanks to's on the other side. There you go. And yeah, I guess that was pretty much everything. The photo card reveal was so like, not unsatisfying, but like, um, what's the word? Um, there was no suspense. <laughs> it just showed up, this crazy... A we ball in Taeyong card. So that was my unboxing of NCT 127 Fact Check. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!